Astfel că venirea domnului Belenfer în Republica Moldova a fost foarte benefică, mai ales în situația în care ne-am uh, pomenit. Cu toții cunoaștem faptul că odată cu înregistrarea legii islamice, de fapt au fost pornite un șir de manifestații, un șir de proteste, mitinguri împotriva acestei înregistrări. Toate cerințele protestatarilor erau îndreptate la ce ca să fie anulată această înregistrare. În primul rând pentru că a putut să calmeze un pic spiritele, și a putut să pună la, dacă spunem așa, la o masă rătundă, la o masă de, de dialog toate cultele religioase care existau la acel moment în Republica Moldova. Based on the new experiences and new views that we have received during the, that assessment and new proposals that have been addressed to us, we have amended our law, we have dedicated a new law, said the freedom of consciences, of religions and thoughts, which was a very significant incentive to the uh, development of the new communities. Nowadays we have almost 2,600 cultural and religious communities registered in the Republic of Moldova. Uh, in 2010, the different Ivoiriens, the different political Ivoiriens on souhaitait aller aux élections. Mais malheureusement, à l'issue des résultats, il y a une partie qui n'a pas accepté les résultats d'élection et s'entraînait, ce qui s'entraînait, hein, s'entraînait une grave crise. Pendant la crise, c'était difficile pour trouver de quoi manger. Il n'y avait rien. Il n'y avait pas de marché. Il n'y avait rien. Et à l'issue de cela, il y a donc eu encore l'intervention des Nations Unies à travers The Commission was established in 2011 and um, what is different or has been different uh, in recent years is that not only are we requested to look at the facts and cir circumstances but also to identify the persons responsible. So the issue of accountability, uh, including criminal accountability, has come to the fore very much, uh, particularly since the beginning of the uh, Human Rights Council and its involvement. Après la, le passage de, de, de la mission des droits de l'homme en Côte d'Ivoire, il euh, y a des, des réfugiés qui, qui rentrent au pays, il y a des prisonniers politiques qui sont, qui sont graciés, euh, mais beaucoup reste à faire. Il faut reconnaître que beaucoup reste à faire. Euh, je suis ça a été rendu parce que il y a même euh, eu un ministère des victimes. My marriage is full of um, sexual, psychic and psychological abuse from my husband. So in 2014, I decided to divorce him um, despite all the his threats that he has made, uh, including um, I could not see my children again and all that. And I'm quite happy, but I'm quite sad. Why did it? take me so long to get help from Komnas Prempuan. Every two hours, uh, there are three uh, women become uh, victims of uh, sexual uh, violence, and 85% of uh, violence against uh, women, uh, uh, the victims are uh, wives. The uh, fact that Komnas Prempuan is a national human rights body enable Komnas Prempuan to look at the strategies more comprehensively. It actually uh, elevates uh, the issue of uh, women's rights, not as an isolated issue, but it relates to any other human rights issues. And this is also addressed uh, by uh, the recommendation of UPR, how violence against women should be the priority of our, uh, uh, of our uh, Indonesian uh, state. The uh, common result is that the government has put a lot of uh, more attention to the issues of women. The main challenge is uh, that we still have that uh, values and norms which have has not put women at the same position as men.
y mi hija asomó su cabeza fuera del coche y pidió, por favor, reciban la nena porque nos llevan detenidos. Yo salí inmediatamente a luchar, busqué, no sabía qué hacer. Bueno, yo sabía que mi hija cuando se la llevaron estaba embarazada de ocho meses, así que innegablemente que tenía que nacer un bebé. Cuando yo me presenté a los pocos días de que se llevaron a mi, mis hijos, cuando yo me presenté ante la justicia por privación ilegal de la libertad de mi hija, y ahí yo ya estaba buscando a mi nieto porque ya calculaba que el parto se tenía que haber efectuado. No sabía dónde, ni cuándo, ni cómo, pero yo sabía que tenía que tener otro nieto. Fue un momento que alguien llamó por teléfono acá, una llamada telefónica anónima. Entonces Mariana estaba ayudando acá, trabajando con nosotras, atendió el teléfono y esa persona anónimamente vio el caso, de un, habló de un caso eh, cuyos datos se asemejaban muchísimo a los datos de mi hija. Entonces ella se identificó con todo eso y salió corriendo a buscar a esa persona que podría ser su hermano. Extendió su brazo y dijo que le saquen sangre porque quería saber si esa chica era su hermana. At the commissions, uh, and our commission uh, in particular, we uh, have made authoritative finds that uh, they are not easily uh, disputed because we, uh, we try to be really independent. Uh, we don't take sides. The only side that we take are the side of the victims. Uh, the victims have a centrality in our, uh, in our work. Our accountability is not a magic moment that suddenly Uh, all the, the human rights violations, war crimes, will be submitted to a trial. Uh, of course, uh, this is uh, 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 the main uh, target, but uh, we see today accountability as a process. Well, I, I, I think the main difference in the Council is that we have taken the decision to focus uh, first on, uh, on cooperation and, and um, a recognition that the, the UN has to, to help member states to do better when it comes to uh, promotion and protection of human rights. The Human Rights Council has reduced the suffering and brought hope for a better future for many. But we have much more to do to ensure that everyone in this world lives free from discrimination and violence. The peoples of the United Nations, we, the peoples of the United Nations, have to do something because don't feel too secure that you are in, in a part of the world today that respects human rights. No, the world is a global village, not just in theory, but also in reality. So please, let us not just be talkers, but also doers. And it is our responsibility as members of the international community. And indeed, the proponents and the, those who are in the Human Rights Council to see that we give effect to the words that we say.